some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know, it's been a while since I've done a Glen Serio, a good old-fashioned Glen Serio video on this channel. Been quite a while. So let's get into an issue that Glen Serio himself ended up causing here a while back. You see, good old uh, Glenda has been filing a lot of frivolous lawsuits as of late, and uh, he ended up filing a one against Telecline. And, well, it seems to have blown up in his face at this point. So let's go ahead and let Miss Telecline explain the whole situation, and we'll get a good laugh out of this whole sordid deal with the Godzilla of frauding. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Hello, everybody. I would like to bring you an update on today's trial uh, where Glenn Serio auditing the USA was suing Telecline for identity theft, fraud, and stalking with malicious intent. Uh, today started out as Take Your Daddy to Court Day. This is a photo of Glenn Sr., Glenn Serio Sr., and Glenn Serio Jr., and uh, Sr. got to watch Jr. lose again in court. Yeah, I bet his papa must be proud of him. His volleyball-shaped son has achieved a lot in life, hasn't he? Yeah, becoming one of the biggest losers on the internet. Uh, here is the dismissal of small claim action. And um, it is with prejudice, as they say. So uh, Glenn does have the option to sue me again if he has evidence that by me posting that document it has cost him financially. Uh, the judge said that it would be difficult for him to prove but at this point Glenn had zero evidence. He sent me, Glenn said he spent $300 in document cost um, but he sent me probably 300 pages of documents and none of it showed it was all screenshots um, of comments and um, and uh, the the mail orders that you get from Experian the junk mail saying that your credit may be affected with 200 million other Americans so Glenn had no evidence that I had damaged or affected his credit so the case was dismissed so basically just like any other frauditor they uh, are all talk but when it comes right down to it uh, they actually don't know what the hell they're doing they think they know the law but in this case glenn thought so as well and as a result it blew up in his face because he doesn't know what evidence is he doesn't know how to present facts or anything like that just like any other frauditor who fails at court. Am I right, Sean Paul Reyes? Or how about you, DMA? How, how's that little thing going for you at this point? Oh, wait, it fell apart for you as well. Ha ah, ah, Your distinguished career is over! So, then, um, but, you know, it's Glenn Serio, so things can't be easy. We started out, um, after the court... When we went to leave, um, Glenn was hiding behind the building, and um, let's see, we can start with, oh no, we don't want to start there, that's where we want to end, um, here we go. I can't use it in my car. I feel threatened. Oh, okay. Wow, Glenn. 
you're afraid of somebody that you probably outweigh by at least half a ton. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. All you have to do is stomp the ground and she'll be stunned long enough for you to go to your car. And as for you, Telecline, why did you have to scare this sensitive little monster with your mere presence on the battlefield? And how were you able to tolerate this man's body odor? I mean, it must have been horrendous from that range. Ben said, I can't get to my car. I feel threatened. Let's see. Um, I'm walking around the building here. Going to my car. Glenn Serio and Glenn Jr. walking away. So that happened, and then we'll go to this one. Sorry. She's wearing a red um, thing, a sweater, a uh, white skirt, brown hair. And I'll say his father has walked to the car. But Glenn is still hanging out in front of the courthouse. But his father has now walked to the car. I can't get to my car. I feel threatened. Right. Well, I want to wait without the government. And I want to wait. Yeah, it's kind of like get away from me. He's running now. He's running. I'm running, he says. No, you're not running away. You're just strategically backing up for now because if you get too close to him, those noxious fumes em emanating from his body are going to act like acid. And, uh, well, the first thing that's going to go is your mind before your body goes because it's just that horrendous and it drives people insane. She heard me call the cops and now she's backing off. And he just said he thinks I have a weapon. I'm sorry we can't hear that well. Stop making false reports to 911. Making false reports. So he goes walking back to his car and then um this is so he told me to wait at my car and I waited at my car for a while and I could see he was still, um, see he's still hanging out on the corner. He's just hanging out on that corner, talking to 911. He doesn't know me. He's talking to 911. Told 911 I have a weapon. Oh, oh, he's doing that. Yeah. Apparently he just called 911. So I hung out in the parking lot because he told 911 I had a weapon and um, clearly I'm at my car We're not close enough to really hear everything he says um, so then I decided to go back into the courthouse and talk to the sheriff because I knew there was a sheriff inside the courthouse 
So I'm coming from the parking lot. Glenn is still hiding around the corner of the building talking to 911. And this is me walking back into the building. Of course I don't have a weapon. I'm going inside the building. He just said, help, help, I'm scared. Wow, Glenda, are you scared of this lady right here? I mean, of all the times you stood up to female officers and acted like a big, bad man, but as soon as one comes by that really isn't armed at all and really stood up to you in court, you turn into a giant frady cat. Oh, poor little Glenda, do you want to go home and crawl into your nice, safe, warm bed and, well, cry about the little telecline that tried to uh, intimidate you by filming out in a public area? Yeah, Glenda, not so tough now, are you, bitch? It's my fault. Of course I don't have a weapon. I'm going inside the building. So I went inside the building and talked with the sheriff who said that he was looking at the call logs and he was reading the 911 call and uh, I said yeah he's out there telling them that I have a weapon. I let the 911 or I let the um, sheriff search my purse and the sheriff said is this the same bag that you just brought into court on camera with no weapon and I said yes this is the same bag I just went through the metal detectors with on my way into court with no weapon in it so the sheriff examined my bag to see that I did not have a weapon he called the 911 operator and let them know that he was with the suspect and there was no weapon and that he would be going out to speak with Mr. Serio, who by at this time he had gone to his car. Um, he was able to make it to his car across the parking lot. Maybe this is, and this is the sheriff talking with Glenn and these are the four Linwood police officers that showed up. Well, three, three Linwood police officers showed up. And then, as you will see, we have a fourth because, of course, Glenn called for a supervisor. <laughs> and so then we sat there for another half an hour while um, Glenn insisted I be arrested for stalking. And um, the police were incredibly kind, incredibly nice, very understanding. They all, even the security guard inside the court building told me that they all know who Glenn is. They're quite familiar with him. Oh my goodness, Glenn, you've got a reputation all over the place. Uh, a reputation that is not going to bode well for you when you come into a town to try to, well, wreak havoc. The police aren't exactly going to be in your court there, buddy. And um, so I filled out a report as to what, because they asked me what happened, and I said I was talking with my friends after the hearing and filming in the public parking lot. And Glenn called 911 and told them that he was afraid and that I had a weapon. So um, I spoke with the police afterwards 
and um, they said that the sheriff will be following up on the case and um, so yeah a little more um, a little more excitement than planned today I'm thankful that uh, the judge um, did not uh, fall for Glenn's scam and he dismissed the case so I will be following up with Erica Bennett's case that's not until December 3rd or 4th that's his final Glenn's final lawsuit um, I will definitely be calling and following up with the sheriff's office and getting a copy of his false 911 call and checking up and seeing what happens on that case because clearly there was no threat, no danger. But Mr. Serio called 911 and said that he felt threatened, as you can hear here. So, um, I was behind him. <laughs> he was walking to his car. He could have continued. I can't get to my car. I feel threatened. So thank you again for everybody for watching my videos and um, supporting me. Uh, today was a win for the small guy. You can't let these auditors think that their next payday comes from suing people. Um, have a great day. Bye. Well, congratulations to a client. Uh, you made Glenn Serio look like a complete and total jackass in this video, and you managed to get this nice little victory over Glenn with this uh, lawsuit that he tried to throw upon you. I mean, congratulations on that part. And I look forward to hearing the 911 call that he made on you, because that should be freaking hilarious. Yeah, calling the police on you because... Well, he's too afraid to walk to his car. That is hilarious. And yet this frauditor used to do it all the damn time. He doesn't see the irony in this crap. And that is quite sad right there, to be honest with you. Now, be sure to head over to Teleclients channel and congratulate her on this victory right here. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?